चलो सो स्टार्ट विथ योर इंट्रोडक्शन फर्स्ट यस सर माई नेम इज विदुषी एंड आई हेल्प फ्रॉम द सिटी ऑफ लखनऊ विच इज द कैपिटल ऑफ उत्तर प्रदेश I completed my education from Lamartine Girls College, Lucknow, and I opted for the commerce stream in class twelve. Uh, then I, uh, I currently I'm pursuing bachelor's of commerce from the University of Lucknow. And uh, during all this time, from my school to my college, I have been extremely uh, active in co-curricular uh, activities, uh, especially music and sports. Okay, it's all. Yes. Um, so I can go on and on. Okay. You can tell few more uh, key facts or key information about you. Okay. Uh, so um, I am applying for the mass communication course uh, because uh, uh, during my uh, college, I uh, I explored the medium of uh, uh, photography and I also like writing. so um, i really enjoyed both the activities and uh, even my internships gave me a little insight as to what it must be like to work in the media field okay so first of all why did you choose commerce in your 12th standard like uh, senior secondary both yes sir um uh, i sir i would not say that um i was very uh, aware of what i like or didn't like then but i think uh, i i i'm still interested in uh, entrepreneurship and that was one driving force that uh, uh, made me choose the commerce field i was quite sure to not choose the science because i had no interest there and uh, i was uh, like the my acquaintances were uh, okay so so given a chance like if we'll go back to the same point and with this understanding that you have right now so if i asked to choose again what subject would have would you have chosen in your plus 2 yes no sir i am i do not regret my choice i would still i'm not saying i say you will still choose the same yes, so sir. so so after this uh, bcom honors on a 5 year yes. of commerce understanding do you think that these 5 years are enough for your uh, entrepreneurial capability pursuit Sir, or or how do you have yeah. enough paper for uh, enough paper or enough experiences to learn entrepreneurship sir i think uh, nobody can be the best at one skill and also uh, i don't think that i'm still even uh, a little able to be an entrepreneur because uh, obviously a professional degree like an mba is not uh, you know so, bcom so cannot So you just said that this was one of the main driving force behind uh, choosing yes, commerce, sir. and yes, when I'm when I'm asking you to go back to the point and and if you can change, you can change. Then you are saying that you don't regret about the season and you won't choose you won't choose any other subject. So so, so the point is the 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 reason which you which you gave me behind this particular decision is not being fulfilled even after five years of the education. so why you should not change like like if given a chance because this is uh, this is not possible at all but if i am giving you a chance in a virtual world that you go back to that point and restart your education with this 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 experiences learning of from this experiences that you already have yes sir uh, the only two choices that i would have was uh, humanities and science so uh, all both of these subjects i don't think they would have been in my in, uh, of my interest and uh, to answer the entrepreneurship question so don't I you would... think that uh, to study media or study uh, journalism uh, humanities should be one of the matlab fundamental uh, with prerequisite because yes, ultimately uh, whatever you want to make or want to create will all depend upon uh, matlab like human related subjects or humanities based subjects mm -hmm. so so if you would have studied five year humanities then then you might have more prepared for the career ahead sir um, i would say that sure humanities uh, studying that uh, subject academically would have given me uh, better insight uh, as compared to a commerce subject but i won't say that i'm 
not at all knowledgeable about the humanities subject because I have read about uh, so, uh, society and I have read about these subjects not as much as uh, as a uh, at an okay okay level. okay so so tell me what do you want to do after this course yes sir so immediately sir i would want to uh, gain experience at an established uh, media company and see experience for what like yes sir. so i i i would like to work on video production so i would want to work in that uh, field for a few years and then eventually i want to start my own media company where i can assume i want to assume the role of a, a creative director creative director and what kind of content you would like to create from your media company yes sir uh, so i would say that uh, it's it's still in making uh, the idea but i would say that i want to uh, make some content that is uh, a reflection of society and uh, with the the see key, so he, key here feature. here the humanities will uh, lack of humanity knowledge humanities based subject knowledge will again bother you because but sir, there are always other options where I can gain this uh, information, this knowledge from. And I still, I think there is no end to gaining knowledge. And I still mm. am trying to read more and more so that I can. So what uh, do you read to understand humanity's best subjects? Sir, um, I don't think my main aim is to understand a humanity based subject. I would say that I want to uh, learn about a subject which can help me in uh, executing the idea that I want to. And for that, I try to, I, I won't say that I've, I'm very knowledgeable about that, but uh, I think sociology, I've read a bit about that, uh, not in very much detail, just to the basics. And uh, besides that, uh, I focus on uh, more of media-based roles like video editing and uh, that uh, the pre-production -pre skills, basically. Okay, so so tell me that uh, if you talk about your society and, and your city's based society, uh, what are the major social issues that you see there for which you would like to make content? Okay, um, sir, I would begin from uh, women based issues as I can uh, tell this by first hand experience also. Uh, and I want, I don't want to do it in a serious way. I would like to do it in, in ways I, I was going to say that I want to use the medium of Vox Populi. And uh, I would want to highlight the problems that women face the LGBTQ community and uh, the pay gap issues, basically. These are some that I want to uh, highlight. And uh, yes, so these are the main ones. Okay. Uh, so, so you told me that uh, you were, you are inter you do write and uh, you have some exposure to photography. Yes, so, sir. so if I'll ask you in one to ten scale, how much do you rate for your photography skills? So I would uh, say about um, seven or eight. Okay. So, so why it so? So uh, I would say this because I've just uh, started last year and uh, there is a lot more scope that uh, that is there for my improvement. And uh, yes, so that's it. Uh, like it's just been one year and even though I've done it a lot, like uh, the frequency, but I would say there's a, but, a lot but, but more. But I'm scope. asking, uh, oh, what should I expect from uh, 10 and, and what have you completed? What have you know or whatever? skilled yourself where you have you skilled yourself that you are making your you are counting or your point like you are giving seven to yourself uh sir um sir i would say that i have put out my content on websites like uh, the hands and i've gotten some uh, feedback from there from my acquaintances um, and sir i think uh, i would say i have not uh, done any professional course in that but i've uh, tried to gain knowledge from online mediums like youtube on how i can better my skills and photography okay. so do you follow newspapers yes sir 
what are the newspapers do you follow like like is it just one newspaper you study regularly or is it like a uh, group of newspaper or some sir, number of newspaper yes, you study sir um uh, so i get a regular copy of the indian express mm -hmm. and besides that uh, i do read the times of india and other than these two um i think sir uh, the online like the internet is already uh, okay, talking about indian express can you tell me the regular feature of indian express like uh, a, the type of article which comes regularly or uh, something which is fixed there like weekly or bi weekly or tri weekly it always it will always be there like like every newspaper has editorial yeah and a daily yeah. i'm not talking about editorial can you tell me the other parts of the newspaper which you see that is the feature of indian express which yes sir how oh, Yes, sir. so there is one uh, full page which is uh, called explained. So uh, they uh, explain topics which are not very, uh, which are a little might be a little complex to understand. Like uh, they can explain inflation or the Sri Lanka economic crisis or uh, you know what those uh, events would have like the effects. So that does this page has have. other component also? um other component as in now does this page has other part in itself like which is very frequent the title which sir i do not remember exactly but uh, there was something okay apart called, from uh, something there called? was something called uh, did you know or some some uh, like some a uh, unique information basically i do not remember the head uh, the top the head okay uh, other other uh, uh, other part like explained other other fixed part like explained okay um sir uh, there is a call i think but uh, that will be common for uh, all newspapers that there is a separate column for in uh, uh, the state and international and then sports besides the editorial okay okay and and uh, what did you say that you study in x place uh, that i uh, times of science india? of india and sir uh, like not always but i try to whenever i'm reading about a single topic i try to uh, read different uh, websites like uh, the quint the wire and uh, yes uh, news laundry sometimes okay so so these days it has been called that media uh, the the print the the separate bed website that you said and you know, all yes, those sir. media houses has some inclination either towards uh, the right wing politics or left wing politics yes, so sir. what kind of difference do you see and and do you feel that sometimes they become more biased towards the event with their opinion sir i think unfortunately right now in the media there is a bias in any of we can see wherever they are inclined there is a certain bias uh, but sir, that is what the point is to uh, read and explore different platforms of. Can you India. give me one example, one is such a story where it has been published in such I mean, like any of these website and it was biased toward something, but it should not have been. So, do you have any example for that? Um, yes, sir. Actually, uh, I would say more from uh, the broad broadcast uh, journalism, like the channels we see on TV, television. And uh, I would say that, sir, I don't think I should take names, but uh, I, I'll just do that. I think, sir, Republic TV is one which is uh, extremely right inclined. And uh, and sometimes they can... Okay, uh, you did not get the answer, leave this point. Uh, so, so can you tell me that, uh, like, if you do follow newspaper, yes, so... Okay. Can you give me the uh, recent news? Give me the detail about recent news which is happening between Johnny Depp and his his ex wife. Yes, uh, sir. What is the story? Yes, sir. So his wife's name is uh, Amber Heard, and sir uh, Johnny Depp is suing her for um, for I think fifty mil I think hundred million dollars for uh, an article which she had uh, written in the. Washington Post, and uh, uh, she had written something. Uh, she had not named Johnny Depp, but she had written something that uh, she had been a 
victim of domestic violence and this had led to Johnny Depp losing out on a lot of advertisements and roles in his uh, films and uh, because of that uh, the defamation uh, he has uh, sued her anything else about the same um sir uh, they have had a hearing in uh, i'm not sure uh, if it was uh, the united kingdom but they uh, they um, johnny depp had sued another uh, the sun magazine and uh, he lost that case okay okay good enough thank you virasi okay, thank you